Hello everyone, my name is Konstantin Dmitriev and today uh, I'm going to present you my tutorial about uh, character template for Synfig. Before we start, uh, you will need a very latest version of Synfig Studio. The latest development snapshot uh, which you can get uh, from the marevnaproject.org website yeah. uh, and uh, you will need uh, files to work with sample files uh, just look at a special blog post about character template and there you can find uh, a link to the working files and uh, link to the page where you can get the uh, latest uh, synfig binaries i repeat it should be the very latest development version provided by marevnaproject.org Otherwise, uh, the things just won't work. Okay, uh, let's suppose you have downloaded all the files and packed them, installed the synfig, and uh, here what uh, you should have. We have uh, several directories uh, for uh, <coughs> different parts of tutorial. Uh, different exercises here and uh, several characters uh, the most interesting for us is character sample this is a basic character template uh, let's try to open it and there is a, there are two different views a side view and front view we will need a front view for our exercises and uh, you can play with side view later okay here it is okay uh, let's increase the quality a little bit oops this is not intended to happen okay Here yeah, we have a character template. Uh, this is based on the Stigman template, uh, which we have also developed, but it uh, have a lot of uh, advanced features. Uh, first of all, it's already filled with the content, and so you can play with it and. Uh, if you change his pose then there are no gaps between the parts and the part the segments uh, of his he uh, hands and uh, foot are automatically stretched see That's it. And the same for the foods. Uh, next uh, improvement is uh, that for foods, for legs, uh, we have some kind of inverse uh, kinematic. This is not really inverse kinematic, just a kind of emulation. Well, but anyway, uh, it works. Uh, what does it mean? It means that uh, it means that uh, when we move the center of the character, uh, the legs are stay on the ground when we have put them like this. So foots are quite independent from the center that uh, allows to easily animate 
and more realistically animate the character walking, jumping, etc. And uh, as I've already said, uh, this character is pre-filled with uh, contents. So we already have hands, head, body, mm, but uh, some uh, elements of this uh, co content are stored in the separate uh, files and uh, it plays a role, it, it's, it is like a kind of library. So if you have many copies of the character, they are linked to the same library. So if you change something in the library, uh, then mm, all copies will be updated automatically. For example, the head uh, with all mimic resides in the library. So if you will change a skin color or hair color or some mimic shape, uh, then it will be automatically updated for every character. And the same for hands or, and for foot. If you change some hand shape, uh, then it will be automatically updated. And uh, if you will add a new uh, hand, a new kind of hand, it will be automatically added to all character copies. Uh, so uh, let's uh, um, try to uh, change the mimic and uh, hands and foot. Let's show how we select the library element. You can see those funny widgets around the character. You can click the yellow thing and uh, drag this blue point. And then you can change. So, uh, that way you can change the library element. You can select the library element. For hands, we have a lot of library elements predefined already. Yeah, this is good. And the same here. Let's leave it like this. And the same for the foods. For foods, we have not much uh, elements, only two. So it's okay. Uh, next, uh, we have a lot more such widgets for the head. First of all, we can uh, we can uh, change the angle of the head. Just click this yellow thing and drag the blue dot to get the idea yeah. next we can change the eyes we can close eyes put them left right up down that's it uh, and uh, we can change the mouth shape you can notice that uh, yeah, there are uh, labels around this widget. Mm, this all widgets are have a special direction, but you should edit them. So don't try to go uh, exactly this right into this direction. You should the things just not work. You have to go there, 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 there. Yes, I know this is kind of limitation, but uh, this is dictated by the internal structure of the template. Okay, you can make the character smile, make him sad, 
and make him pronounce uh, different uh, uh, sounds like m or p or b. We have this position for m, p or b sound. Uh, this position for f, v. Uh, this for g, k. So we mm, not have the. For obvious reasons, we don't have the separate uh, mimic shape for uh, every phoneme. We have grouped those phonemes uh, and by the we have grouped them um, as most to most similar and uh, this grouping uh, the way how uh, we group them is defined by the model of the model we use is the uh, Fleming Dobbs model uh, it is very good from my point of view because uh, it uh, provides a quite good range of phoneme groups and is suitable for the in uh, for the Latin as well as for Kyrillic language. It is very well fits for all I guess all kind of languages. Okay, and uh, if we want uh, to, oh, I forgot one thing. If we will change the uh, character mimic and uh, eyes, and then we change the his head angle, you might notice that the mm, mimic remains the same when the character turns his head. So those act all actions are independent and this is very good. So you can animate his mouth separately and uh, his head turn and eyes independently. Okay. Uh, and uh, to edit his uh, pose uh, you need to go to the sets tab click and uh, double click the first set icon not the name but the icon and then you will see a green dots this is works in the same way like the stickman so dragging these green dots you can change the character pose so let's try the first exercise and uh, let's try to make uh, this character dense. Uh, I will not need all those widgets because he will not be talking or changing his hands so I'd better hide them. To hide them I need to go to the child panel expand this and go at the bottom and find the widget arm on switch checkbox and check it and you will have all widgets hidden that's it okay uh, now we need more space for this chapter it is too big so we make him smaller let's uh, select the group of the character and uh, sets the zoom value to something lower okay now he is small enough and uh, next what we need is a crown okay uh -huh. but first uh, before we start okay let's make the ground uh -huh. and let's put it down. Okay. And uh, 
since we are modifying the original file it's probably not what we want uh, let's suppose we need uh, uh, to create a separate scene of character dancing so we put him here in this directory let's make uh, click the menu file save as and uh, choose the directory to save the file to uh, let's call him no, let's let's leave the name as is start animating him. We already have one keyframe and this pose is pretty much okay for my taste. So let's go... Oh, one more thing. Uh, I would advise uh, when you animate uh, the, character, uh, the character pose, I advise to use the TCB uh, interpolation mode because it works uh, better for such kind of movements. So you can set it at default as default. And now we can click go enter the animate mo mode. Uh, go to the uh, next this time and add a keyframe. Now let's edit his pose at this moment of time. Okay, probably to jump he on the this side, he need to first his weight to the left at first, and let's prepare him like this. And uh, let's make him even more uh, unstable. His pose even more unstable, like this. Next, uh, we go and define him to define the next pose. And uh, this pose will be here, I guess. We can indeed the timing letter anyway. So let's move him. like he is jumping into this direction his feet are almost lost the touch to the ground so his knee is straight should be straight and uh, the next pose he this foot will be touching the ground and this will be in the air. Okay. Mm -hmm. uh, next pose. But before I will make the next pose, I need to remember the position of this uh, foot. And to do that, I use the sketch tool to put a little mark. Okay, and after that I can 
safely did his pose his leg let's see suppose this leg will touch the ground and uh, it will be like this this is like this okay and uh, let's go for the next pose his weight will be shifted to the oh, to the this leg like this okay uh, now he will start to move back so let's put him here the knee is should be straight straight and like this yeah and uh, the next is uh, his uh, foot uh, this foot should return return into place here yeah. so that's why this mark is useful so he jumps back And uh, the next keyframe uh, is probably a duplicate of this one. So I just select this keyframe, then set the time cursor into place where I want it to be duplicated, and click duplicate button. That's it. So let's save and uh, see we the result. We have. Uh, this pose, this pose, this, 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 and this. And then we can later loop it if we want. Okay. Let's set the quality higher. Make a preview. It will take some time. Let's wait. Yeah, it's pretty good. Yeah. And we can make a loop uh, at least for preview at the moment. Okay, it's from 6 to 1 second and 9 frame. Uh, 6 and 1 second and let's make one frame small one frame shorter yeah here are the character jumping and thanks to the TCB inter TCB interpolation we 
have a movement quite realistic. Okay. So this is the first exercise. Now let's try to make uh, the character talking. I will close this file because I don't need it anymore and uh, I go to character sample mail directory again but first I'm going to clean this directory this is from my previous workshop okay and uh, let's go to the character sample mail again and open Saha front file. Yeah. Okay. Uh, in this case, we will need him saying something. Let's first of all save the file to somewhere else. example this is second exercise let's see let's go here and save it here and uh, let's for this case let's uh, make a close-up view of the character because we need to see his lips clearly so we zoom him like this Okay, uh, and here we have we have to animate uh, this parameter to make him talk. But uh, there is one thing to know before we start. Oh yes, there is one thing to know that we need uh, this point animated with the special uh, special kind of interpolation constant why let me explain let's go to animate mode and uh, let's say our character uh, wheels is going to say hello so this H, H, and then again E, the same mimic shape, uh, L, L, uh, O, three mimic shapes. There should be neutral, this, this, and then this, and then neutral again. So we are in animate mode, and if we have TCB or Clampet or any of those except constant, we will have following result. Let's see. Uh, go here and set to this H. Yeah. And then go here and set to A uh, is already here, so L. And let's try to see the animation. Preview one. You see a lot of a lot more. Uh, I can increase the uh, FPS to demonstrate you. Instead, instead of just two sounds. We have a lot of more sounds. You see, he's talking and talking. Why this is happening? Because uh, we have for this parameter a uh, clamped smooth, a kind of smooth interpolation. So when the chair it tra travel from uh, this position to this position, it does this smoothly. You see. Here. and it travels here and what we really want 
is to jump it uh, immediately as soon as it reaches this point. So the best is to have a constant interpolation for all those positions. So don't forget to enable here I change it them manually, but uh, it's better to change to set the default interpolation here so when you start animating so the new produced waypoints will have constant interpolation automatically so we have hello hello see and uh, then he get back to the natural position and now everything is fine yeah the point remains in place until it reach it reaches the next waypoint uh, the, the next waypoint exactly and then yeah so we have that's how we animate it uh, the same way we have to animate this and this with the constant interpolation. For example, I can make him blink. Like this. So the final animation will look like... Hello. Like this. Uh, the same applies to the hands and foot. Every time when you modify those widgets you have to set the constant interpolation as default i think in the future versions we of synfig we could have uh, to make a constant interpolation force it for those uh, for those points so you won't need to switch uh, default interpolation every time because uh, it's easy to forget to do this but for now you have to do you have to go this way okay so we did uh, first uh, animation of our character talking let's save it but uh, of course uh, in the real world we <laughs> Uh, ha will have a much problems of synchronizing uh, this uh, character with the sound. We record at first we record the sound and only after that we synchronize the speech. So it's a lot of work to synchronize to make the animation of mouth manually. That's why. We have made a little plugin which incorporates, uh, which makes Synfig work together with Papagayo lip sync software and uh, allows to, allows to automatically, almost automatically synchro uh, synchronize his lips with the sound. Uh, but first, before you start using it, you will need uh, to install Papagayo from the same page, uh, from the same morevnaproject.org website. Uh, let's go to software page and uh, you will uh, see the latest build of Papagayo package it there. So you need to install it. And uh, the second thing is uh, that you need a special plugin installed for Synfig. I have them already installed. Those uh, plugin, this plugin, Character Lip Sync Mimic. Uh, but I'm going to sh let me show you how to do this. In fact, for working with uh, character template you will need uh, two plugins uh, the second one you will need later uh, so let's 
install both of them so you need to go to the plugins directory in uh, the, your working files what you have downloaded and you will see two directories those directories you have to copy into the uh, synfig plugins directory let me show uh, go to your home directory and you have to uh, you have to show the hidden files show hidden files those are the files starting with the dot and uh, you will have a dot synfig directory and uh, the plugins should be copied into the plugins direct subdirectory inside of it I already have this directory and plugins there but uh, I'm pretty much sure that you don't have for you it's most probably there are no plugins directory so you should you have to uh, create a new folder call it plugins in lowercase enter it and copy the bundled plugins plugins there okay after that you have to restart synfig uh, I already have synfig closed so I just start it and you should see four plugins uh, why four? because two plugins are already bundled with synfig package so we, you will have them anyway and uh, two other we just copy it into our user folder so let's go ahead and reopen our last file yeah okay and uh, next thing what okay we are going to make a lip sync in the lip sync directory I have several uh, predefined files for you uh, I've heard of him he's a very greedy and evil person like this we should try to sneak into his castle. Yeah. And like this. Hello, and welcome to the Libra Graphics Meeting. Okay. Uh, choose any fi any file that you like. You even have uh, Russian in Russian la one in la Russian language. So let's uh, let's go to the back to Synfig and. Uh, we have character template open it and let's go to plugins and character lip sync mimic uh, yes okay it asks us to load the audio file let's click ok and select the uh, okay I will select the most simple one click open now we have an audio stream Hello. Welcome to the Libra Graphics Meeting. That's it. And uh, we need to write the same text uh, in this box below. And I will write uh, text separating it to phrases. Each phrase should be on different line. And uh, then we should ch ch change, select the language. We can select anything. Here are a lot of languages available. And uh, the important point 
is uh, that uh, we need to select the different model for for them a breakdown. Uh, by default, it have a Preston player, which is not su suitable for us. We b should go for Fleming Dobbs. If you select the wrong um, breakdown model, then the things just won't work with our template. And then we click breakdown. Uh, the Papagayo complains that it doesn't know how to pronounce the word Libre and let's help him. L -E -B I guess it's like that. Okay, and we have a basic breakdown here. We need, uh, we need to align uh, the the phrases first you can click Hello. at the point to see uh, where to start it's supposedly here so first we are leaving the start and the end of the phrases like this and surely we would like to preview how it will look like so we have to change to the proper mm, preview model Fleming Dobbs. Let's try. Hello and welcome to the Libre Graphics meeting. It's almost perfect. Hello and welcome to the But it's not always a uh, like that. So generally you can you your workflow is to uh, align the phrases first, then you go and can align the individual words. Welcome to, to the lip to the lip to the libre libre gra Generally it's fine. Graphics graphics Yeah. Meeting. But meeting. you can align it's meeting 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 yeah, for it's example. Meeting. And uh, if you are not satisfied with the uh, individual sounds, then you can go uh, at the lower level and welcome to, welcome to and change the positions of individual sounds. For example, if our cha uh, character speaks non uniformly, like this, hello, like this, and here we can do hello. Okay, we, hello. Oh. we can do it like Hello and welcome to Yeah, that's better already. So this is your workflow. The phrases first, then the words and then the sounds. Because if you will after you have tuned the uh, sounds and get if you will edit the if you edit the higher uh, the element of higher level, for example, the phrase, it will mess up your custom custom uh, tuning of the lower level elements. Meeting, meeting, meeting. See, so go from from high level to the lower level. Okay. Hello, and welcome to the Libre Graphics meeting. Again. Hello. And welcome to the Libre Graphics meeting. I think it's fine. So let's just close this window. Uh, answer yes. And in a few moments we will have um, our character talking. The same, an animated in the same way as we. Uh, did a layout in Papagayo. Let's see. You can see that uh, the new animation is replaced the our old one, and uh, it's okay, I think. And uh, if you are, we we have no sound in Synfig. 
at the moment so you only see the uh, only see the li li lips movement the, without the sound but you can render your animation and put it into video sequence editor and uh, if uh, if you put the same sound then uh, they will be synchronized perfectly and uh, you can go and call the same plugin anytime if you are not satisfied with the result you can call the plugin again and you will have all your layout uh, so you can you don't need to start from scratch you just edit in graphics 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 you can just edit close and uh, the animation of uh, your character will be updated automatically okay here is uh, here was the uh, tutorial how we do an automatic lip sync